get a piece of paper and something to write with because you're going to want to write the name of this plant down. Look at this spectacular plant that I'm standing in front of. This is called the candelabra plant. Notice how the flower spikes stand up in a, a group, kind of like candles in a candelabra. The Latin name is Cassia alata. Now it's kind of getting changed and you may see it also listed as Cena alata. Alata means winged, and the Latin species names comes from the two wings that form on either side of the seed pod. Now this plant, believe it or not, was planted just back in the spring. It makes a huge, dramatic presence in the garden. So you locate this as a focal point or as an accent plant or really towards the back of a flower garden for a beautiful backdrop or background. Now these large leaves are tropical looking and they're just about as spectacular as the flowers. These flower spikes actually begin to appear in the late summer and then go into the fall around about late August or September. It comes into bloom and then blooms all the way through October. Now it's a tropical perennial. It's not reliably hardy in Louisiana. We oftentimes grow it as an annual, particularly in the northern part of the state. But again, look at the growth it makes in one summer. In South Louisiana, it may come back up from its roots after a mild winter and persist in the garden for several years. Also, this is the larval food plant for the sulfur butterfly. You may see some of these fluttering around the plant. They lay their eggs and the caterpillars hatch out and feed on this plant, producing more beautiful sulfur butterflies for our gardens. You shouldn't plant it now in the fall. Wait and plant it in the spring of next year. But if you do, you'll find that the candelabra plant really makes a highlight in your garden. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.